How do? It's Phil Lord Such here, and today we have entered the top 10 in the Euro Sinclair top 100. TLL starts us off from Tornado Low Level from Vortex Software. Now, this was made by Costa Panyai. I can't say his surname. I'm very sorry, Costa. Now, Costa also made Highway Encounter. TLL came out in 1984, Highway Encounter came out in 1985. Highway Encounter was number 40 in the Euro Sinclair Top 100, and I loved that. When I started playing TLL, albeit it looks beautiful, I went on a Baldrick rant. For some time, I was calling this stupid. Stupidy, stupidy, stupid. Stupidy, stupidy, stupid. You won't believe how much I despise this game when I started playing it. You are a super high-tech military plane. Your goal, you'll see there's loads of little like, steering wheel sort of objects on the floor, is to fly as low as possible over them to destroy them. As I said, when I started playing this game, I hated it. Couldn't get it. Bug me senseless. Calling it stupid. Frustrated. Made a few videos. Stopped playing it. Walked away. Did the dishes. Came back. Played it a bit more. And again, couldn't get it. Really couldn't. However, then, after a few more plays, suddenly, poof, got it. As you can see, I'm not the best. Just smashed into a, a three-month-old Christmas tree there. I'm not the greatest. I still take off from the runway occasionally with limited fuel because you have to wait for the fuel to fill up. But I got it. And as soon as I got it, I appreciated this game so very, very much. The 3D effect is brilliant. The colours are fantastic. And the game itself is spot on. Costa, once again, has delivered a game that is fantastic. And for this to appear in 1984, is just mind-blowing. This game came out in 1984. There's subtle colour crash. It's, well, that I can see anyway. I've just hit cliffside. There's a glorious little 3D effect going on here. It's challenging as hell. Once again, the ZX Spectrum games that don't forgive you for making an error. You've got basically a time limit of fuel. You can land on the runway to refuel. And as you can see on the side, I've got the six little like steering wheel targets to destroy. And they're shown on the map where they are and on the mini map as well as you're scooting across. The little dots indicate where they are. I can fold my wings up to go faster. I've got to go as low as possible. The shadow highlights where I am. Look how that shadow floats along the landscape at the bottom. This game is glorious. It really is. And as soon as I got it, and it's still not low enough there, got to get lower. Got it. As soon as I got it, I love this game. Really did. Had a good few goes on it. My Baldrick stupid rant was a distant memory. You can even zoom under if you're low enough. You see the pylon there? If you're low enough, you can go under that. It even recognises that you're low enough to go underneath the pylon cables. Costa's done a fantastic job. Wholeheartedly recommend having a go of TLL, but give it a chance. Don't pick it up and think, oh yeah, I'm going to get this. I've seen Vil play it, and it's brilliant. He said it's brilliant. Because you'll hate me. Give it a chance. Give it a chance. There's five keys. Not redefinable. But you have to give it a chance. Because you'll probably hate it in the first go. So, go and have a go. Give it half an hour. But you'll love it. So, TTFN. TLL is brilliant. Cheerio. Bye bye. We're in the top ten. Excellent.